Okay, so we're going to turn on the machine. There is a button here in this area. Let's say on and off. We're gonna press it at one. The machine first is gonna have this area light. You will see the um, LCD panel. The machine that I have, like I said, is the a 9000. Um, I'm gonna put the full name here so you guys can see. So once the machine is go like this, you're gonna press this, the machine immediately is ready for sewing. So you will have here a couple things that you want to see. Uh, I'm gonna get you guys close. So you guys can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Perfect. So you will have the time in here. This lock, if it's lock, nobody can change anything. This part here um, is different setting. So you can classify different garments with different settings and just save it and you will have um, all those settings. So let's say if I change all the settings for make a shirt, I can put number one. When I click number one, all these change to um, the settings for the shirts. This is backstage, I mean front stitch and backstage. Um, it do it automatically um, with the machine. You just press it and you can turn on and turn off. This area here is a bobbing. When you wind in the bobbing in this area here, you do have the ability to timing the bobbing. So the machine will tell you almost when the bobbing will be um, empty. Then you do have the tension, which is this one here and this one here. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. This is related to this itself. And then you do have this, which is supposed to relate it to this part here. And then this is for cutting. Um, if you want to uh, trim, you can set up the machine. So how you want to trim, if you don't want the machine um, trim the thread or not. So after that, you do have, like I say, the settings for different garments, you can change all the settings for it, the tension, the stitch line, and all that good stuff. You can sort by items, you can refine your search. So, so far here, what I find out very important is the um, the menu here. You will have many different things that I have used. I had not used all of them, but the most uh, one that I use is number one, which is memory stitch. Um, basically to show the different kind of stitch that you created. Um, then you do have a bobbin winding. This is the way that you can engage your machine to winding your bobbin and it changed the machine for that. You put the bobbin here, you put your thread through here and then you bobbin the whole um, bobbin with this. Just press back and then you have the counter settings how you want the machine to start counting the bobbing and also um, this, I'm, I'm guessing this is a more the stitch type thing. I use more this. Then you do have condensation, uh, customs, sewing, I never touched that. Um, you can also see here, for example, the version. This will be really important because these machines have the ability to be connected to an iPad and download all the settings. So these machines are smart machines, so they can be connected with laptop, uh, laptop or, no, sorry, through Bluetooth um, with iPad or something like that and download all of the information. So you have this kind of um, information here. This is the machine, which is a DDL9000C FMS. So you will have that, um, the clockwise, the time, how you wanna put it. Pretty much this is the settings of the machine. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you a different area of the machine so you guys can see. The machine is pretty much any other 9000. There's a couple of difference here. Let's start with the most basic things. 
um, it will have your back pedal here without any problem like all the machines you do have the oil here because it's a semi dry so if you, I lift it up this machine and put it back um, it will be dry I'm gonna show you that in a moment besides that um, the um, bobbing winding normally is here this machine and the regular one is supposed to be on the side but this kind of one have this in here um, this part here remember they normally have like a screw type thing is already gone because it's um, computerized this part here is computerized too this is computerized so you don't have to worry about that you do have this button here um, I had not set up um, the button here but normally if you press here this is the back stitch one um, if this part here normally is the same as any other machine that you guys may have had before the computer I think is around this area so basically it's pretty much a 9000 but it have some cool features so I'm gonna show you more part of the machine okay guys so I'm gonna show you a little bit quick um, and more close the machine so here is a simple foot that I have um, this machine have the second hole here sometimes they don't have that this machine have the hoops here sometimes some don't have um, I like it when I have this hoop then here is the key point of this machine these two things are um, what the computer really control and is also here you can change the setting here and then after that the machine is pretty much um, normal except with this here which normally is a kind of screw this one doesn't have a screw and then these two button here one is backstitch normally and the other one change the setting here I know you can change these two buttons to something different but um, so far that is the way how the machine is set up for me um, besides that uh, you do have the regular backspace, uh, backspace, backstitch one. And then you do have um, the area to add the oil. Then on top, you have the area where you're going to put uh, your bobbing. And then this is the head and this is the um, pull thread, how you put it. So basically, that is pretty much the machine itself. Uh, the machines came with a table. The table came with a ruler here. And then you do have the pedal here. You do the back stitch, as you can see here. Pretty much, this is what it is. Okay, so now we're gonna do a run test. I'm gonna use a piece of fabric. I put thread, I have a simple foot. So we're gonna run the machine. With double like this I'm gonna put my foot on the pedal when you do this the foot on the pedal this um, foot will lift and this here will lift too now let's run a little bit the machine the machine is very smooth the machines like to run. Um, right now I'm doing an, um, 2.5 um, stitch lane. So I want you guys focus on how the machines run. 